hey you welcome once again to this youtube video if you're new just subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all our latest videos so in this video i'm going to show you on how you can integrate the pesa pal api into your website so first in this uh, first video i will introduce you to pesa pal and tell you what it is so if you like such kind of video stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so so let me first close this so that you can see the whole page so uh here it's the pesa pal website you can just get it uh link uh go to it by i'll provide the link in the description but if you want to visit it by typing it in your browser you can just come here and search and google www.pesapal.com then click that link then you will just be redirected to this landing page you can see their landing page is amazing and i've known pesapal from the longest time so pesapal is a payment gateway where they always integrate it with mostly POSs and also websites so you can use it to collect funds from customers so for us here this is how you can get an uh, account at Pesapal by just clicking register if you don't have one but if you have one you can just uh, you, you can just come direct and log in so if you want you can choose either a personal account or a business a personal account or a business account then you will fill the required information which is there then if you if you have an account already you can just click here login for me have already have an account so i can just click login then you can just come here and click uh, uh just login with the detail that you created uh, that you created while registering then for me i'll just click the re my details which are those then i can just click login so when you log in to uh, PesaPal, you will be redirected to the dashboard. This is the dashboard, which this is my dashboard. So my balance is around 20 shillings, which I rarely use uh, PesaPal, but they are very good and reliable. So here you can see this is the dashboard. And then you can see other menu here, like transaction history. You can withdraw funds to directly to bank or here you can see when they have also a pos you can run a pos here also then you can uh here their sub post in store then they can show you account details you can edit your uh, account details so for he us here we have this is how you can uh, log into pesapal dashboard but as we are interested in how you can integrate it with your website so you can just come here to the main page which is pesapal.com the landing page that is then you can just scroll at the bottom where you will get the api documentation by just clicking here payment api or you can just click developers so you can just come here and you will be redirected to this page so they have like two types of documentation this is 2.0 and this is a 3.0 documentation but also uh, the most important thing you always need to uh, be connected to the latest documentation so as we in this tutorial we will use the latest documentation of 3.0 which is this so for that you can see you will be directed to this you can see that they are uh, they have a url for sandbox and live so for sandbox is, is this uh here and then the, for for live it will be this so here is the first thing you can just come and read here or everything if you want to understand more but this is not an important page you can just get it for just additional knowledge but you can just come here and click next and this is the point where we are uh, we are required to this is the most important point before you start integrating the payment uh, pesapal api it is authenticating authenticate authent authorization endpoint which is this and in order to do authorization you will need a consumer key and a consumer secret so that you can generate an access token which you will use to when while uh, while doing any PesaPal API so in order to do that you need to have a consumer key and a consumer secret and in order to get a consumer key and consumer secret you will come back to your dashboard then scroll at the bottom where you can see here API credential and getting API credential you will just click here and then they will be sent to your email that is registered with that account so for me I will just send that when you send i'm sending the AP, uh, consumer key and the consumer secret to my email so that i can get it so here my api credential have been sent to the email so this is what you will get 
in your email that the sapal email and i will just click here and you can see i have my consumer key and my consumer secret which i will use to consume the api so we have the documentation we have gotten the consumer key and the consumer secret so the next thing is to code and and consume the specify api so i will see you in the video too so that i can show you on next steps where you can integrate the pesapal api into your website or consume the pesapal api so see you in the next video